I am Mark Stewart, and I want to give my first and I believe only comment of 2023 about Joe Biden. It's a reaction to the phrase that was aired on Fox News calling him a wannabe dictator. I don't believe Joe Biden is a wannabe dictator. I believe he wants to be a good guy. And in trying to please those around him, he follows them. And who are they? Well, they, that very close circle that he's kind of shielded from escaping, that close circle of influencers uh, include a lot of leftists. Leftists I've defined as people who do not want America to succeed. They tie themselves to groups who'd like to bring down America. They themselves would like to have elites rule and they are among them. They therefore divorce most Americans as much as they can from religious institutions, from individualism. Instead, they would like to see people turn to their vision and if need be, command people turn to their vision. There's another group that surrounds Joe Biden. I don't think they're leftists, call them progressives, who latch onto statism. They are statists wanting to use power, and the president has enormous power, to get what they want. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the biggest fault of Biden. Following these who want him to use his power unfairly. Now, he may not even recognize that it's unfair. I think a lot of Democrat voters don't recognize what is being done to ordinary Americans. That Democrat rule, state after state, and somewhat at the federal level now, takes away our right to use our property, takes away much of our right to speak freely, takes away much of our right to associate with others as we wish, takes away our right to work with employers for our mutual benefit, takes away a right to our savings, takes away although it's no longer a right because of the 16th Amendment, but takes away a good chunk of our income. And not just to fund the government, the 16th Amendment's taxation clause now allows government to use the tax code to manipulate, to reward friends, punish others, extract a lot of money, although still not enough to keep future generations from paying an enormous debt. The ability for Congress to over and over just run deficit after deficit, which Joe Biden has encouraged every one of his three springs here, is decrepit. It's evil because it's theft against the generation, younger generation. So it's not just Biden. Republicans in Congress are not fierce enough in opposing this. This is statism run amok. And that's why I would like to see what some people call these days extreme. The six Republicans, to their great credit, who voted against the recent Biden plan for a budget. In the process, they raised our deficit by $2 trillion. Folks, we're not in a two-front war like in World War II. There's no national emergency. We should be spending according to what we earn. Don't spend more than you're willing to. Because the fierce defense of liberty is American. I contend that Joe Biden, not in patriotism, but in values, is un-American. And that's true for the leaders that surround him and goad him even more that now that he has power. This were not values of traditional Democrats, okay? You would not say this about Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman, John F. Kennedy. Frankly, if he weren't still living in the same house as Hillary, I think former President Bill Clinton would be not on board anyway with today's Democrat ideologues. 
This is the main criticism that good guy or wannabe good guy Joe Biden does bad things in the process. And Democrats, to keep the power that they have, let it go. I am a Democrat who is of an old fashioned, call me a JFK Democrat, call me a Jeffersonian, if you will. And I am worried about the backlash to our party being so strong Republicans will get control of Congress in a big way. And when it happens, it's hard to blame them if they go Matt Gates on us. Okay, really ferociously rolling back everything because they and I see predations by today's Democrat leaders that probably deserve punishment. I'm not a fan of punishing. I'm a fan of reforming, renewing getting a better Democrat party, and that means not keeping the status quo. I'm Mark Stewart.